Hello students, in this video we will see how to download and install MySQL for your database systems lab. Uh, you can download this software uh, from uh, MySQL web website itself. You can go to MySQL website and the download section you will be able to find it. But to do that uh, you can google it out MySQL download and the first link uh, uh, suggested by Google you can follow that link click on the link it will uh, bring you to this page right scroll down a bit uh, ultimately uh, you will find one link there so uh, we want to download uh, mysql uh, community uh, edition right this uh, is ultimately mysql it is freely available uh, 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 software and it is an open source also being maintained by uh, right now it is being maintained by oracle corporation uh, this mysql was developed by mysql ab company earlier and then this company was uh, bought by um, sun microsystem and this sun microsystem was lately um, uh, okay uh, acquired by oracle micro My, uh, or oracle corporation so ultimately right now ownership of mysql is with oracle corporation so uh, it is freely available software open source software under gnu gpl right that is general uh, general public licensing so uh, you can click on this link to download the community edition of mysql click on the link it will uh, bring you to this page uh, here uh, on this page ultimately we have to uh, we want to download the mysql community server so click on this link uh, it will bring you to another page uh, uh, ultimately we want to download the mysql community version msi file we want to download for installation process so here you will find uh, the link to download this msi so click on the link it will again bring you to another page here uh, you will find two options one is web uh, community uh, installer and second one is uh, installer uh, file actually you can download this file okay so by clicking on the second download button here right so click on the link uh, it will simply take you to another page uh, now it is asking you to uh, create your account to oracle web, uh, oracle uh, you can create oracle web account uh, you can sign up and then uh, log in to your oracle account and can download this mysql community edition software right so without doing this sign up or login it is possible to download it you you can simply click on this link that is uh, without creating login and sign up you can simply click on this link and your, your download process will start so uh, yes it will start like this right so so once it is downloaded you will see a file in your download folders like this okay so my sql installer community version 8.0.20 1.0 current version of mysql right uh, you can start uh, installing this uh, software by double clicking on it so yes it will uh, open a small window like this okay so uh, it may ask you uh, some notification may come okay asking you to okay uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device so you have to answer with yes okay then ultimately it will open a window like this so this is the first window that will open when you start installing your uh, mysql right community edition so uh, here on this window you will find multiple options uh, uh, during this installation process we will follow uh, uh, default options all default options right but uh, the other options are available you can explore those options and uh, we want to go with developer default option here and uh, under developer default uh, 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 if you can see here okay uh, uh, it explains that if you go with developer default what is going to be installed under this uh, uh, option right so it um, will install mysql server shell mysql router workbench and other uh, modules 
of mysql right so after um, selecting this developer default option click on next button okay now here uh, uh, it will open this uh, particular window right so uh, on in this window uh, it is actually uh, trying to say that uh, uh, this modules are going to be installed with this version uh, right and uh, before this it uh, in 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 your system if uh, visual studio is not there right it may ask you to manually install visual studio for your system if you want to install mysql right it may ask you uh, to install visual studio maybe uh, 2013 15 or 18 version right so uh, if it is so uh, go with the manual installation of uh, visual studio and then come back uh, uh, to okay here to install mysql server okay mysql community edition server so uh, when you come uh, okay uh, this page appears or this window appears uh, during your installation uh, click on execute so it will simply start uh, okay installing each and every module one by one and here you can see the progress right so when it completes with first module you will see a uh, green tick mark against each and every module right so now right now it has started installing second uh, module right here for mysql okay community addition so so if you uh, can see right here uh, as uh, soon as your uh, okay every modules are okay completed here you can see uh, green marks again against each and every uh, module okay once it is uh, completed you can click on next button okay uh, again it will uh, bring you to this window uh, simply uh, it is now it will start configuration process after installation of the modules here you will uh, have two options okay as i told okay go with uh, default option okay we do not want to go with inodb cluster option we want to go with standard mysql server so click on this next button and then ultimately you will uh, uh, okay uh, come to this window again uh, as i told okay go with default options so click on next button here now it is asking you to create uh, okay strong uh, authentication that is create strong password for your um, uh, server okay ultimately it, it will ask you to create root password right so now it will ask you to create root password so uh, a new password you have to create for your uh, account or okay so as it can uh, it is visible right uh, it is uh, trying to say that it is a weak password right i for now i want to go with weak password better you create a strong password for your uh, okay uh, root password actually for your account click on next button and uh, again you click on next button okay it will uh, uh, come to this page click on execute button here it will uh, configure each and every modules okay and then again it will come to next page So it is right now it is trying to configure your uh, mysql so click on finish button this point of time okay it will bring you to another page after this okay so again here when you uh, come to this page click on next button okay and you ignore this particular uh, right uh, router configuration it is for uh, inodb uh, cluster so as we install mysql server not inodb cluster right so again click on next button here and now it is asking you to uh, enter your uh, password right the root password remember so simply uh, uh, enter your password click on check button and it will show you green mark against it and here you will see connection succeeded with uh, okay with green highlight right so click on next after this again click on execute button and you will see a uh, uh, finish uh, option after this window right so once you land to this particular window click on finish uh, again click on next button and ultimately this is the last screen of your installation process so uh, it will uh, if you take on okay these two options and uh, click on finish it will simply open uh, 
two windows. The first window uh, may be your workbench interface. Uh, close this window and if you, if you can see both of these windows, okay, so your installation process is successful. Okay, so uh, you can close this window and ultimately you can uh, also make a uh, uh, check about this that uh, you can simply go to um, Microsoft uh, search bar and uh, simply write my SQL and if you can see okay option like this that is my SQL 8.0 command line client so click on this it will open uh, my SQL command line client for you right and uh, if you enter a password that is root password over here right so it will simply it will simply make connection with the right server okay so uh, here uh, as you can see it 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 it, it is a command line client for you right and uh, the version of your mysql community server under gpl right so here uh, you can simply if it gives you a prompt like mysql it is uh, okay mysql prompt so you can simply write uh, command like this that is show databases semicolon and enter if it shows you okay output like this means what your installation process is successful so uh, let's start with the installation process now right all of you are requested to complete this process at your end and submit the screenshot like this okay as an assignment thank you very much students